Chapter 5 Season 2 starts in a little over a month, and currently, as of now, we have a very vague idea of what it's really gonna be about. But we know it's going to tie into Greek mythology and the tier 100 skin of this season's battle pass, Valeria. Wait, what? Valeria? Why Valeria? Well, can I just say, guys, I honestly think Valeria is the most important character in this season's storyline, especially with what she's gonna cause by the end of this season, but I'll get into that later into the video, because before, I gotta do a little bit of explaining. So I'm pretty sure most of you know about this, but Valeria is very much of a curious geek, and does a lot of studying and researching. She's recently been studying the Big Bang, the Zero Point, Jones, and many other things or people. She's very interested in our past, present, and future. She's interested in our past because she wants to know who we are and where we came from. She's been interested in the present because she wants to know our position within the underground, and also she has major intentions of finding the zero point as well. But I got way more into detail with that in a previous video, so if you want to watch it, the link will be down in the description. And she's interested in our future because she wants to know where we'll end up and what the aftermath of the underground society situation situation will be. But overall, Valeria is literally studying everything, and she will study and research until she gets answers and info. Because Valeria very much likes answers and info. But on the other hand of everything, She's gotta look after the society, as she's literally their highest ranked member, and she's very destructive and kind of evil when it comes to it. Well, Valeria is a very cruel person herself. She has a very cruel backstory, and overall, she's a very cruel person in general, especially to her sister. By the way, guys, this is not a video of me just explaining Valeria. No, she's just very crucial to this video and this season's storyline, and the future of this season's storyline. Now, if you didn't know, almost every society boss withheld a power from a relic. Montague has diamond manipulation powers with the diamond relic he has. Oscar has lightning shockwave abilities with his shock brawler relic. And Valeria is in possession of the ruby relic, in which this grants her powers of fire manipulation. So, in other words, Valeria can control fire. But what has this got to do with anything about this video? Well, like most things, Valeria is very interested in this relic and her powers. So, she does research and investigate stuff about her relic and her powers a lot. In fact, in Valeria's bright red library, she's got an open book on her desk. And on the pages, you can see three things. You can see something that looks like an orb, a container, and a moth. And if you look at this orb thing, you can see that it connects to the container. Some people are saying that this container is actually a chest, but we don't 100% know. But to be honest, I think there's a good chance of this being a chest. But what is so important about this chest slash container? Well, inside are ancient artifacts, ones that could very much be related to the ruby relic. Because if you look into the orb that connects to this chest, it does kind of look like that you can see flames, in which this is interesting and does tie into Valeria's powers. Now, the moth on the page is actually kind of important to Valeria as well, as the moth represents Valeria's powers, which is her flamey powers, and moths are heavily attracted to flames or other bright fiery sources. And as Valeria has the ruby relic, the moths would obviously be attracted to her and her bright energy within her powers. So that's why Valeria is practically represented by a moth. So thanks to this book, we know that Valeria is looking into some ancient secrets, or ancient artifacts. But in the latest update, which was about almost two weeks ago now, we kind of got a bit more information about the search. Well, the search for the ancient artifacts. We found out that Valeria is looking for more than one ancient artifact. She's looking for a few. And if you go up to Silas Hesk with Valeria, he will say, I know you're looking for ancient secrets 
but what might they be? Well, that is a good question. What might they be? Well, we kind of know. In Greek mythology, there is something called the Pandora box, which is a box or jar that was given to Pandora, who is a figure in Greek mythology, and according to the myth, she was actually the first woman created by the gods. Now, yes, she was given this box or jar, and she was told to never open it. But curiosity got the best of her, and she opened it. But when opened, this box released all the evils into the world. Evils being, like, dark curses and dark things, like... A lot of bad things were released, and many bad and dark things also happened to people and the earth, or well, the world as well. But after everything was released, the only thing left inside the box was hope. But to this day, this container containing all of the dark and evil things is known as the Pandora Box. And the myth is a cautionary tale about the consequences of curiosity. Now, Fortnite is a game that has very strong ties into Greek mythology, meaning that most things that originate from Greek mythology somehow tie into Fortnite's storyline or lore. Like, there are many characters in Greek mythology that represent Fortnite characters. For example, Nox, Nyx, Ayora, Eos, and many more. And there's many things from Greek mythology in Fortnite as well. So again, Fortnite is a game that really bases off Greek mythology. Now, the Valeria is curious. She's curious about these ancient artifacts. But the most important ancient artifact that Valeria has been looking into is this container. And Valeria has been curiously studying into it, and she knows that inside are like strong evils and powers. And Valeria likes this kind of stuff because one, it will uh, make her stronger and make the society stronger. And she's gonna try and find this container because she's curious about it. And so what if I told you that Valeria represents Pandora? Just think about it. She's really curious about this box and what type of evils and powers are inside. And so that's why she's looking for it. And when she finds it, because this box is on Helios, may I say, it will release many strong and evil things or events. And well, Valeria thinks that this will help the society. But in reality, it won't. It will just make things worse. Now, call me crazy here, but I have a belief that maybe this box on the island is cooling for Valeria. And that like inside there's an evil mind that wants to be released. And that it wants all of the other powers and really bad events to be released as well. And so it's cooling Valeria, hinting at its location and telling her to find it. And when she finds it, she thinks that this box is gonna help. But in reality, it won't. It will make her life the society's life, and the whole island a lot more worse. Because she doesn't know the truth about the strong evils contained inside that box. And that's how I think next season will happen. How it's actually related to Greek mythology. Because everything to do with Greek mythology will be let out from this box. And it will all be Valeria's fault. Now, in the upcoming weeks of this season, there will be earthquakes and rumbles on the island. And it will be the box, well, the Pandora box, making them happen. Because the evil elements inside the box would want to be let out, and it's calling for Valeria for it to be released. And at, like, the end of the season, Valeria will find this box, and it will release the worst things imaginable. But there will be some good things in there as well, because remember, in that box, there is still some hope. Meaning that there will be some positive things coming out from that box. But with all the rumbles that this Pandora box, or should I say, Valeria box, will cause, well, it will make natural events happen on the island. You know the massive glacier next to the Grand Glacier Hotel? Well, some people are predicting that because of these earthquakes that the Pandora box will cause, well, what if, like, due to this, the massive glacier, like, starts to melt and get destroyed? And then we find out that under it, there is, like, this Greek city or area in which it will be a new location in Season 2. In which, that's just a theory, but I think it'll be interesting. And, well, I think that literally everything that gets added in Season 2 is all because of the Pandora box. And who knows, maybe Valeria doesn't actually find the box this season, Maybe she actually needs to find it next season, and then 
there will be like a massive event or something. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going a bit too far here. But we do know that this Pandora box will be critical for this chapter's future and especially next season. Where is this Pandora box right now on the island? Well, my best guess is Loot Lake version 3, also known as the Massive Lake in the middle of this island. I don't know why, I just feel like it will be a good place for it to just be there. But yeah, when Valeria finds this box, lots of these evil Greek mythology related things will be let out from it. And it will make things happen to the island or just make things appear and it will cause season two. Also, quite recently, a lot of new Lego buildings got leaked and they'll appear in Lego Fortnite soon. Like one was to do with Mega City and there was also a few to do with Tilted and also one to do with like Greasy Grove as well. But one of the buildings was this red looking temple and well it does look like something you would see out of Greek mythology. And so some people are predicting that this building will be a location next season. In which I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, as it does kind of fit the theme. But I don't know though, it's just a prediction. But yeah, for the last time, this Pandora box will cause earthquakes and rumbles on the island. And soon Valeria will find this box, in which she'll open it. And it will release many Greek mythology related evil things onto the island, which will cause season 2. It will make locations appear and natural events to happen on the island, and it will also probably like spawn in greek gods or something like that and it will make next season greek mythology themed because forget my theory on war i honestly think that next season is gonna be fully about greek mythology and so thanks to this pandora box valeria will cause chapter 5 season 2 but yeah that's about it there is an update coming up on tuesday and that could probably give us some new information as well about like Valeria and next season and also the earthquakes might start happening around then as well But I think the update will just morely focus on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab part 2 and the PD quests But honestly, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this storyline video and well This video was actually quite a hard one to make I guess I was kind of sick for most of the time I was making this video. Like I had COVID and everything and now I've also got like chest and back pains and well at some points it was actually really hard for me to speak. But I got the best of myself and well yeah I managed to upload this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it because it was quite a long way and well I did actually try hype this video up a bit. But just overall guys thank you so much for watching this video and well a like and subscribe would always be appreciated. But yeah more videos will be coming soon and I will make a storyline video about next update. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.